Happening right now, there is a potential offer on the table that could save a historic church in East Toledo. Sacred Heart has been in the community for more than 100 years, but the Catholic Diocese here in Toledo announcing plans earlier this year, or earlier last, <laughs> let's go back to last year, announcing plans to tear it down. Andre Norrells, he has the new details tonight and the push to save the church. Andre? Yeah, well, Jeff, first we learned tonight the church says it has a signed offer letter for someone offering to buy it. While nothing is finalized, it could be a step to saving the church. For now, the group One Voice for East Toledo is leading the effort to stop it from being torn down. There's not a whole lot we can do, but we certainly can try. <laughs> Jan Wasserman has gone to Sacred Heart for 73 years, her whole life. She says the church has been transparent about the amount of repair work it needs. So we weren't shocked when they talked about closing. We were shocked about tearing down. That really surprised a lot of us because we didn't expect it to be that, that extreme. Gary Linhart with One Voice for East Toledo is holding a series of meetings to find new uses for the church. Uh, what's possible? What could, we, what could be a repurpose of the church? What could be its future? Linhart says the community came up with 75 ideas of what the structure could be, including business, education, and housing ideas. And we certainly understand why the diocese would be hesitant to allow this structure to stand when they allowed others and now they're still sitting there, unproductive. Back in 2018, the diocese was set to demolish St. Anthony Church, but it was saved and given to Lucas County Land Bank with help from the Toledo mayor and Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. Today, the church still sits empty, but a climbing gym company sent a letter of intent to buy February of last year, according to Land Bank. In a response to WTOL 11, the diocese was clear if the demolition doesn't happen, they want the church to continue as a place for divine worship. The community was given until the 15th to propose an alternative use. Linhart says they need more time. We're sort of at a fork in the road where we have to go left or right, and we don't know what that decision is until the diocese agrees to take a pause so that we can regroup and make a plan to see what's possible with Sacred Heart. The last service at the church is this Saturday, and the members said the day would be emotional for them. But we'll continue to track the potential purchase of the church and what it could mean for its future. Reporting in studio, Andre Knowles, WTOL 11. WTOL 11 also saw multiple political leaders at the meeting tonight, including Councilwoman Teresa Gaddis. She says she's looking to bring a moratorium resolution to council to pause the demolition.